So that's what I did. Painted the transmission, got it nice and clean, new seals, put red line gear oil, MT90, three quarts, um, and that was it. Both up to the car. The only modification that you need to do, what I didn't need to do because my car was a 97, it's the AC bracket. If you're doing a GSX Trans in a GST, you need to get a 97 or a 98 or a 99. GST AC bracket because there's a hole on that bracket there's two holes on that bracket that lines up with the half shaft because when you use the GSX transmission you got to get the half shaft because remember the GST got that long ass axle so you get the half shaft now you're increasing your traction so the half shaft has a mountain bracket on it that boasts like behind the block and the AC bracket that you need has those two holes for that bracket and then you just get the bolts you, you just you know use the same bolts they're using you just got to get two more bolts for the ac for use for that bracket so we put that on that was it everything else plug and play i put a 10 10 uh 10 pound lightweight flywheel that's another thing gst flywheel does not work with gsx trans the gsx trans flywheel is like three or four millimeters shorter than the GST. So I ran into that problem where I was trying to bolt on the trans. I'm like, man, the belt housing is hitting the flywheel. What's going on? And contacted some guys on the phone. They're like, yo, Steve, you got to get a GSX flywheel. I'm like, damn, I already had a lightweight flywheel for the GST. It's more money. But I sold it, got the money off that. I was able to buy the flywheel. So you got to get a GSX flywheel. The clutch, pressure plate, all that is the same. Just get GSX flywheel and, and, you're, and, 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 and you're good. Also put a competition clutch forge, uh, clutch fork in it as well since the trans was open. So now um, I'm going to show you guys exactly how the trans look and explain to you what it is all right so that's a gsx trans okay solid shift the bushings okay going to gears nice and smooth there's no play you know what i'm saying also got the shifter base inside the car where the shifter sits solid um bushings there torque solution trans mount gst manual and gsx uh mount is the same bolts right up um, this breather hole right here for the bell housing. I still don't have the vent here because the GST breather vent doesn't fit. It's too small. So this is originally from the GST. The one in the back from the GST, and then the breather for the differential from the GST fits. But this middle one right here, it don't fit. I contacted Jacks. Searched around, nobody has it. I left it open, it's fine. It's, it's still venting, you know? Um, the uh, starter, GSX starter, okay? 96, all right, manual. Um, moving on the back, I don't know if you can see it. The bracket, still GST. Um, no no modification needed on that. Let me see if I get some light for you guys so you guys can actually see what's going on. Hold on. Alright, now you guys can see better. Front mount, the same. Nothing needs to change. I got a custom cross member uh, frame. Cormali still done. Just because it's lighter, but it's not needed. Stock one works fine. So that's the trans bolts up. The reverse switch is the same. Um, everything else is pretty much the uh, same. Painted with spray paint, ceramic is good. Change uh, all the bolt out, the mounting bolts, the bell housing, or brand new bolts. I label them too, so when I take them out, because some of them is a, a different size and length, 
So when I take it out with a mark, I put like one, two, three, four, five, so I know where the bolts go. Um, speed sensor, there is a difference in the speed sensor in the back. GST, GS6 speed sensor looks the same, looks identical, bolts right up, doesn't function the same. My speedometer is not working. Um, I contacted Extreme PSI, 